What's up, YouTube? Back with your boy Luke, live from the house here in Mexico. Hey guys, check this out. As you can tell by the title of this video, I actually got attempted to be robbed, attempted to be extorted, taken advantage of, whatever you want to call it. It happened to me, the great Luke Powell, the guy that always tells you how safe Mexico is, the guy that always tells you that if you don't go looking for shit, you're not going to find any shit. It's completely safe. And I still feel that way for the most part. But I did have an experience that I wanted to share with you guys, okay? Guys, if you're new to this channel, go ahead and smash that red like and subscribe button. And before I tell you about this experience, just listen to this down in the description below. There's a live interview I did with a hooker down in Bogota, Colombia. And she's going to be coming to Mexico in a couple weeks and starting a new job here. And we're going to have her back on live again. We're going to be answering all your questions. And we're going to try to help this girl out and get her started in Mexico, right? Because she had a really tough life in Bogota, Colombia. She was a refugee from Venezuela. She wound up falling into the prostitution game down in Bogota, Colombia. But we're going to all pull together and get her out of that. Like I said before, guys, why not help out a hooker, okay? People help out homeless people. People feed children. Well, we're helping out a street girl, okay? All right, guys, back to the scam story. Let me tell you what happened. So... The other day, I was down in South Texas, okay, which is a whole nother story. But anyways, I was down in South Texas, and I had to make my way out to San Diego, California, or to Tijuana, Mexico, pretty much the same thing, right? So I checked airfare from San Antonio, and it was like 400 bucks last minute. I checked airfare from Monterey, Mexico, which is a great city. It was only $83. So I decided, like I've done a million times before, I'm going to buy a bus ticket for $20, and I'm going to ride the bus down to Monterey, Mexico, and fly nonstop to Tijuana for 83 bucks. okay? And from Tijuana, you can walk across the bridge into San Diego, California. There's actually a bridge at the airport in Tijuana. You don't even have to leave the airport. You can walk straight from Tijuana's airport into San Diego, California, and clear customs. All right, guys, so let me tell you what happened. I get down to the bus station, right, and I broke rule number one. I always tell you guys, when you go to Mexico, do what you're supposed to do, okay? Nothing else. Well, I buy my bus ticket, and it's an hour before the bus leaves, and I know down in Nuevo Laredo, Mexico, that Boys Town, the live prostitution district, is just a couple streets down. So what do I decide to do? As smart as I am, I decide to walk around and see if I can look at a hooker or just walk around and kind of see what's going on put my big nose in places where it shouldn't be, I guess in more than one aspect. So anyways, what ends up happening is I walk outside the bus station and I get approached by two guys, right? Bam. And uh, the guy says, hey, where are you from? They don't know us. So he spoke to me in English and Spanish. And like a big dumbass, I broke rule number two. I tell you guys, if you find yourself in a bad situation in Mexico and you speak Spanish, don't speak it. If there's no communication, there can be no extortion, really. I don't care if it's from a cop or whoever. Well, sure enough, you know, the guys come up to me and they start saying, hey, what are you doing, man? I tell them I'm going to Monterey. Well, what are you going to do in Monterey? I'm flying to Tijuana. Well, what are you flying to Tijuana for? I'm going to visit my girlfriend, right? I just pulled that out out of nowhere. And they were like, well, um, where's your passport? Where's your ID? And I noticed that the guy on his necklace he had a Santa Muerte chain, right, um, which is very common among, you know, the cartels and drug dealers and people like that. And so did his buddy. He had a Santa Muerte chain, too. And I was a little bit concerned. I, I knew some bullshit was going down, but I wasn't sure exactly what it was. But, you know, seeing as though there were two of them there, I was kind of the mindset it might be better off just to give these guys 20 or 40 bucks as opposed to, fight it out on the street or let the situation escalate and get worse, okay? So, basically, and I think I only had about $150 on me at the time, which is another rule I tell you guys, don't carry a lot of cash. So it wasn't really that big of a deal, okay? I wasn't going to lose that much money. So he starts asking me questions and all this stuff, and I said, well, hey, listen, man, I go, I'm not doing anything illegal. I said, but let me ask you, what agency are you with? Are you with state police, you know, uh, Policia Municipal? Are you with the AFI or... Who are you with? And he kind of backed off when I said that. He goes, no, no, we're just checking to see if everybody's, you know, no, nothing fishy's going on. He's like, you know, this is a very hot area. I go, I know it's a hot area. 
And I said, check this out. I go, when I crossed the border three or four blocks over about 30 minutes ago, they checked my bag with an x-ray. They checked my immigration documents, which is total bullshit. They didn't check anything. But there was an x-ray machine there, and there was officers there, right? They very would could have checked me out. So basically, I just, you know, I didn't cave to the guy, but I didn't start any shit with him either. But that was in a total attempted extortion. And I'm not sure who they were, if they were Zetas or they were from the new generation or who they were. Maybe they were just some street thugs, some punk kids. But it struck me weird they were doing this right at the bus station because check this out, guys. There was all kinds of security at that bus station. There was city police, state police, drug dogs. The place is a brand new bus station and it was just being circled and surrounded by security officers. So that tells me that whatever these kids were up to, I say kids, they were probably 23, 24 years old. That tells me whatever they were up to, it was already arranged with the other police officers there, okay? 100%. So luckily nothing happened to me after I told him, hey, they just checked me at the bridge and I'm good. He was like, you know what, man, just go on, right? I didn't get nervous. I didn't cause a scene, but I didn't appear weak either, okay? Now, looking back on things, obviously, if he would have came out with a weapon or some shit, I would have given him everything. It's not worth your life. But just know that this kind of stuff can happen from time to time, right? It happens in Bourbon Street, happens to tourists in New York. Well, it happened to me in Nuevo Laredo, Mexico, okay? And, you know, like I said, it's my fault for a couple of reasons. One, I didn't have no damn business in a shitty part of town leaving the bus station going around looking for some bullshit. And that's what I was doing. 100%, that's what I was doing. There's nothing around that bus station outside of there by Boys Town except for prostitutes, drugs, and people up to no good. And I walked right into it. So I kind of deserved a little reality check. Second mistake I made was to have a conversation with the guy in Spanish. I should have never done that. I should have played the white boy card. I'm sorry, I don't understand, and just walked off, right? So... I broke the rules. Luckily, this time, the rules did not break me. I want to tell you guys something out there. Um, Boys Town in Nuevo Laredo, Mexico is kind of down right now. Um, I did a video about a year ago of Boys Town, and sure, there's girls there, but there's not a lot. They're not very pretty. I don't think it's very safe. I've been back three or four times. I've scored some video shots, but I haven't posted it because I didn't like the video, and there was pretty much nothing to say, okay? Okay. So if you're a trucker and you're watching this video and you're going down to Laredo and you're stopping at the truck stop on I-35 or something, probably be better to find something for you to get into um, down there in, in Laredo, Texas, or maybe just across the border in Nuevo Laredo, Mexico. You don't need a passport to cross or anything. And right when you cross the border, there's a couple pharmacies, there's a park, there's Emiliano's Tequila Bar, and there seems to be a few ladies you know, working that are walking around that area. You might want to check that out before you go into Boys Town. If you do go into Boys Town, take a cab driver with you and pay him like $10 an hour to sit with you and wait on you, right? I mean, hey, what's 20 bucks to guarantee you a ride out of there and to guarantee you safety, right? That's nothing, guys. Anyways, guys, smash that like and subscribe button if you hadn't already done it. My name is Luke. I do videos primarily on Mexico. Everything's pretty much shot with a cell phone. It's real time, real talk. I'm an American guy. I've lived in Mexico for the last 17 years. Guys, till the next video, we'll see you down the road.